Mike Bruce here at RockingGuitarLessons.com and YouTube.com slash RockingGuitarLessons1 that's Buddy Holly with Peggy Sue this goes out to Linda too she doesn't know but it does it's my mom she likes Buddy Holly and so do I so let's jump into this standard tuning I'm using um, I'm blending the pickups so it's using the bridge and the single coil on the middle it gives a little more of that fendery uh, tone sound uh, I got it on clean channel on also I'm doing the vertical vibe number 16 on my Rocktron expression gets a really good kind of vintage 60s sound sounds kind of like a strat huh so we're doing a major D major and back to A major and then E major. So A major is open A, uh, first finger 2D, middle finger 2G, third finger 3B. Take your thumb, mute out the low E on the top, and go, and he's down strumming all this, which isn't as common. Usually people will do this, but he's got more of that choppy feel, so you're gonna do down strokes through all this. Um, <laughs> little pointer here on these changes you're gonna with your thumb you'll mute out the low E a little bit but you're gonna go one two three and then lift your fingers off and transition to go to the D major chord and hit a few of the opens in between slow it may sound wrong but this is something that uh, isn't talked a lot about with guitar players but they do it all the time and I think one of the reasons is people don't talk about it is they don't realize they're doing it so uh, it's part of a feel that's going on <laughs> So when you switch, you're going three times and then lift it and hit like the D, G, and the B. Uh, it's just a filler, really. D major is middle finger 2 E, third finger 3 B, first finger 2 G. Take your thumb and mute out the low E. Go three times. You can hit all six strings as long as you're muting the low E. And then hit those opens again. Back to the A major. And do the same thing. Three strums and then a lift. And then E major, which is middle finger 2 A, third finger 2 D, first finger 1 G and go all six strings three times and then lift off again so it's one two three lift one two three lift one two three lift one two three lift does that twice that's the intro to Peggy Sue and then when he does it Peggy Sue that's uh, A major and since uh, there's no new chords I'm just gonna give you the chord name instead of explaining it because I've explained those already so we got two and three and four. They're eighth notes. One, two and three and four. And then, so it's seven hits and then a lift now instead of three hits and a lift. D major. So the D major is exactly the same thing. And then on this part, it's one and or one, two, three, lift on the A. D major, one, two, three, lift. Um, Go to D major seven times and then lift. No, you're gonna go 15 times on this now. Lift and then one, two, three on the A, lift. One, two, three on the D, lift. And then back to the A major. So. Seven times lift. And then seven times on an E major and lift. Let me show you the no, we did do the E major already. That's this chord here. Seven times lift. And then D major, same thing. And lift. There was a part in the middle where Buddy Holly actually slid the D chord, and, and I overlooked that. Let me show you that. Here's what we have. That's the whole thing. That, I would, that I'm showing you right there, but here's what we got, watch, we have... Right here. He's doing this, taking the D chord, moving it a half step back, picking it and sliding it back to the D. He does it twice, like... Then you continue it with. So D 
just loops that. It goes back to the intro again, okay? So Buddy Holly, Peggy Sue, make sure you're tuned standard on this. And it's a good chord song, man. The strumming is all down strokes. Make sure you lift in between chord changes. And don't hit the opens loud like... It's a filler, like I said, so kind of hit it a little softer. He does accent some of his hits a little harder. I'm Mike Gross, rockandguitarsmans.com is my website. It's coming in probably September of 2012. It's $20 a month. It will take your playing to the next level. Uh, we'll cover a lot of things and also break bad habits that a lot of guitar players start. And uh, once you get bad habits going, they're, they're hard, to, hard to quit. It's like anything that becomes a, a habit. Actually, Raggy Ragsdale says, is there any good habit? Well, actually there is. Because if you fix the bad habits, you, you've created a good habit. So, Anyways, Raggy Ragsdale is a good buddy of mine on YouTube. Check him out. R-A-G-G-Y-R-A-G-S-D-A-L-E. Tell him Mike Gross sent you. And check him out. He's a fun, interesting guy, man. Really cool man. And he's a musician as well. And he has some really cool stories. Just interesting stuff. YouTube.com slash RockingGuitarLessons1. Go subscribe to my channel. Comment, likes, request songs. I will get... To each and every one of your requests. I'm getting really backed up because my subscriber base is growing, but I will get it to you in a timely fashion. Pretty quick, guys. Usually within a few days right now, but um, you know, I'll, I'll get your guys' requests to you. And um, if you have any questions on this lesson or any others, let me know and I'll clear it up for you. That's Buddy Holly with Peggy Sue. We'll talk to you next time.